Absent corneal reflexes. It's been 55 minutes. If he doesn't respond to these tests in the next five hours, what, we're supposed to just stand here and watch him die? If he doesn't respond to these tests, it's because he's already dead. <laughs> Technically and legally. Actually, Izzy, actually dead. He's breathing. He has a heartbeat. Look at his EEG. There's no higher brain function. He'll never talk, move, or think again. There's no one in there. Think like a doctor, Izzy. He could wake up. What about a miracle? There are medical miracles, you know. I know. You're right. Miracles happen. People do wake up. See, that's why we do a series of tests over a set number of hours. So when we call time of death, we know that we've done everything in our brain to make sure it's actually his time of death. But there isn't going to be any miracles. This is the hard part. To stand around as surgeons and not cut. But that's what do no harm means. I should just go into the light already so I can get on another case. Oh, I'm the devil because I'd rather be in surgery instead of standing watch over the death squad. It's depressing. Look at his sneakers. They're brand new. And somebody sewed this tear in his shirt. And he has one of those electronic key cards. He belongs to someone. An hour ago, he was out there alive. To simply stand here and wait for him to die. It would be a waste of life. Exactly. It would be a waste of organs. <laughs>